what I'm going to show you today is how to customize your ribbon in OneNote. And this works across all Office applications. And the second thing is to add a back and forward button uh, in OneNote, similar to what you would see in a web browser. So find any blank space within your uh, your ribbon. So we're going to check, click right here, customize the ribbon. You click on that, and you'll see this dialog. Um, and so the first thing is I always go to all commands because I'm looking for for all of them. And we need to set up a new tab. So we click new tab, click here, uh, and we're going to rename it. And so we'll be very creative. My tab. You can put your tab. And then we're going to create a group where we're going to put these items into. I like to group my uh, customization. So we're going to rename this. Since it's navigation, I'll call it navigation. And we'll just use the arrow button here. And now we're going to add the back button. We're going to add this one because this is going to add some drop down features to it. And we're going to add the forward. And again, this will be add some drop down features. And this is all I want in there for now. So we'll click OK. Now when you see this, you'll see that there's a drop down. And this is going to give you uh, back where you were recently were. So we're going to go back to this. If I click on forward, it just takes me back to where I recently was also. So it's back and forward is where we're navigating to. A very nice feature that's built into OneNote that most, most folks unfortunately don't realize. So right here what you have is the actual steps, the outline of what I've put together for you. So again, you're going to right click on any blank section in the OneNote ribbon and you're going to customize it. So this is adding your back and forward buttons. Check back for more tips and tricks from Dr. Frank and Computer Magic.